Hi, my name is Ashwa Chovan. I'm a physical therapist here at Ortho Virginia. I've been a physical therapist for 20 years and I have been dry needling for 10 years. Um, so today we're talking about uh, dry needling. A lot of patients don't know what it is. Um, so this is uh, a video to give you a general idea of what it is, how is it different from acupuncture, um, who's it for, who can benefit from it, what are the side effects, so let's start with what is it. So dry needling is a procedure where you, you take a very thin um, stainless steel needle. Uh, the needle is very similar to the acupuncture needle um, and you insert into the muscle tissue, the tendons, areas that are hurting to provide you relief, um, to improve function. So now we'll talk about how is it different from acupuncture? Um, because some people have tried acupuncture and then they think it's the same thing when we're needling and it is slightly different. The history behind acupuncture is very different. It is uh, like old Eastern medicine um, and they divide the body into meridians, basically how the energy flows in the body. But uh, dry needling is very different. We are not treating the meridians. It is done solely for the purpose of improving the dysfunction in the body that is caused by connective tissue, muscle tissue, um, and things like that. So now dry needling is done different ways. There are different schools uh, that teach that different way. Um, there is deep dry needling, there is superficial not dry needling, there is dry needling with electrical stimulation, uh, there is uh, periosteal pecking. Um, so it depends. Some people piston, that means they move the needle a little bit more than others. Uh, electrical stimulation is not needed, uh, but in my opinion, if we stim the needles, you tend to be less sore. Um, so if you have uh, a pacemaker, you don't do e-stim, but you can still get needled. So just because you have a pacemaker doesn't mean that you can benefit from it. So let's talk about people who can benefit from it. If you have a musculoskeletal impairment, you're eligible. Um, you have headaches, dry needling is very helpful. You can have tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, very helpful. You can have plantar fasciitis. You could be getting up in the morning and your back is just stiff. You take longer to get going. You know, you feel like, oh, it takes me 10, 15 minutes. You can get needled. You have scar tissue restriction from an older surgery. It can help with that. A lot of times people will have surgery and they, the next day they're in a lot of pain. They could have a lot of calf pain. Very helpful with that. Or some people notice that their skin gets very hypersensitive after surgery. Like if their shorts are touching or a sheet is touching, it is extremely, extremely painful. Um, dry needling can be very, very helpful in those cases. I've seen people, you, like, you do needling, you take the needle out, their pain in that area is already better. They're actually very shocked at how much of a relief it has given them. So if you have arthritis, it can be very helpful. A lot of people think, oh, I have arthritis, it cannot be helped. But what they don't know is how much of the muscle is contributing to their pain. It is not necessarily just the joint causing their symptoms. So they can have improved range of motion, even though they're choosing not to do maybe a knee replacement yet. So it's going to make the knee replacement after the surgery, their recovery that much better if they did it before. Um, dry needling in addition to physical therapy is what is going to give you the most relief. But let's say you have done physical therapy and you haven't tried dry needling, you are good with exercises, try it. But um, the most benefit is along with physical therapy. The dry needling releases the pain, eases the muscles that allows you to do your strengthening exercises and stretching exercises a lot sooner. Um, let's say your pain was preventing you from doing squats. Now let's say that needle, it allows you to squat sooner so you can develop strength sooner with those activities. The other question a lot of people are fearful is, it does it hurt? Uh, yes, it hurts a little bit, but I think it's more weird. It's the fear of the unknown. So a lot of people don't know what it's going to feel like. We do like two or three needles at a time. It is super quick. We stim it. It's done. So it doesn't take that long. Um, I feel like after the first visit, people are a little bit more relaxed because they know exactly what it feels like. 
I will tell you, I am very afraid of needles. Um, when I went through the course, um, you had to needle, put a needle in yourself. My finger kept shaking. I couldn't push that needle in. I had to ask my instructor to push the needle in. Once I knew what it felt like, I was like, okay, I can do it. I hate my blood drawn, but I have needled myself so many times. It feels weird. It's not too painful for me. And even if the pain occurs when the muscle cram cramps or you feel that twitch response, it's just very momentarily. Now let's talk about side effects. Other than a bruise, there are other side effects which you don't really tend to see. You know, it's a needle, there's always a chance of infection, but then you get your blood drawn. This needle is a lot smaller. We do clean the skin before the needling is performed. Um, you might bruise. That is probably the most common side effect of dry needling. There is no medication we are uh, putting in. It's just a metal needle and it can actually change your life if you give it a try. Well, thank you.